It allows us to determine, having put in the information, where people are located, the nature of their issues. So if a person has a disability, if a person is elderly, if a house is desperately in need of repair, um, and those things. And so far on that geospatial map, we've already inputted information for 15,983 clients from the ministry. And in total, we have 17,244 persons. So we can tell if, an, if, for example, there was to be an event today, uh, we can tell where those persons are located, we can tell the bus routes uh, in relation to where the persons are, how close the nearest emergency facility is, those are the things. And we are moving toward this because it allows us to make decisions faster, whether it is before the hurricane, after the hurricane, before the disaster, after the disaster. The idea is to be able to get to the most vulnerable. You obviously want to use this opportunity as well to make an appeal for persons to come forward if they know where persons are, who they think are vulnerable, so that we have this information, we can put it into the system, but also so that we can make decisions.